computer, you can tell how many people she's touched, both professionally and personally, depending on what part she's been with you. But uh, it's been an amazing ride. Uh, very happy that you and your husband came today. Thank you for getting in here with us. I guess I should stand up. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing I want everybody to look at and realize, check, check it out. I know it took is. three years to get her in denim. <laughs> been a fabulous ride. Uh, you've left this place better than it started. I can see that. We all know it. We feel it. You can feel the, how it's smoothing out. And you finally, right before you left, you got all the directors in place. You can look around here and see it. Outside of manufacturing house, of course. <laughs> That's me. But, but anyway, I, I appreciate what you've done for me. It's been an exceptional ride. A lot of fun. You took me to the session. You taught me a lot of things. And you said at that session, you don't understand what's happening you just sit there and you're blank until you go with somebody like the superintendent she told me the backstories and things started making sense and it's things i'll never forget things i'm going to utilize from here on out i hope your next chapter in your life is good you have what you want we're going to see you back whether it's working for that let's see you up here with us up in the session uh, you've got a huge career but hopefully you'll remember more of not many things when <laughs> Julia and Lisa, they would have picked it out. So thank you so much. about what was I going to say when I got here today you know I just I, I have to put down notes for myself I've shared with some of you and you probably know I'm, I'm certifiably an introvert I am not an extrovert and so I have to think about what I'm going to say but once I get started I guess you're lucky you don't have a microphone here <laughs> I don't have a microphone to a politician I try not to think of myself as a politician but there is a couple of things I just want to share so I had eight years of public service before I got to New Mexico. I worked in public education. I was a Head Start teacher. I coordinated volunteer programs. I got here and I worked just under five years before Susanna Martinez promptly fired me, <laughs> which is what happens when a new administration comes in. But I was the deputy director for boards and commissions and then I was the director for boards and commissions. And those were some of the funnest times of my career. I worked six years over at the State Records and Archives. We go way back, that's right. And that was also an amazing time. I was seven years on the Santa Fe Public School Board of Education. I have three and a half years serving as state representative for this very district and probably representing some of you and I hope that I did it well. I know many of you supported me during that time. And then I have three years to close out my career with ROB. It's a total of 33 years of public service, and there's not a day that I regret. Have there been hard days? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but there's not a day that I don't that I that I regret being here. We've been together through good times and through some tough times, but always as a team. Always as a team. Some of you remember my oldest granddaughter, Olivia, being born and coming to RLD and coming to the State Records and Archives mm -hmm. and interacting with you and with your families. Sophia was born when I was here, my second grandchild. Oliver was born when I was over at the State Records and Archives. Legacy, while well, I was at the legislature and now Lucent here at RLD. They grew up around you. You guys have been their family. There's been some interesting things that I think at some point some of us could write a book and should write a book. <laughs> Does anybody remember when Thor was being filmed here back in 2010? There you go, that's right. And the first time I got called to the governor's office, at the time, Governor Richardson, and you don't want to be called to the governor's office ever, right? It's, just, it's like, you're just as soon, just do your job, got called in. Who remembers why? You were standing at the window. That's right. <laughs> 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 
for those days when it got too hot. Ultimately, we would get sent home. Now, we haven't had that since I've been here, but then we haven't been here because of COVID for a good amount of time, right? My office was still probably the hottest. Melissa, you and I could take a temperature and see which one was hotter. <laughs> I think back and I remember people like Juanita, who loved Halloween. <laughs> absolutely loved Halloween. She was our janitor. And we all loved her to pieces. Like, if you knew Juanita, you knew Juanita. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Melissa's office is where I learned about the passing of my mother. I got a call from my sister that my mom had passed away. I was in this building. This building holds, <coughs> this campus holds my life. A lot of memories. On the brighter side, we've implemented cannabis. Todd, where'd you go? I saw you. <laughs> All of the cannabis staff, we implemented cannabis. And it's so exciting to be considered part of the cannabis team. Couldn't have done it without each and every one of you. From Robbie, who was 100% of the staff. <laughs> and then each time we'd add somebody, this was before everybody came from Department of Health. When we'd start adding people, we'd say, okay, now he's only 50% of us. <laughs> <laughs> but you were an intricate part of what we did, and we did it together. Most recently, we've had the passing of our dear friend, Bernice. And I think of all of the things that have happened in this building, even the loss of my mother, losing Bernice was incredibly difficult. But I appreciate that we all stood together and that we all support one another through this. On another high note, maybe not. You tell me, Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> we had a cybersecurity event that we lived through. <laughs> high note, low note. Yeah, low note. <laughs> low note. <laughs> still a low note. Still, still a low note. <laughs> but we did it. When I first started working at the state, I was told that the motto for classified employees is this too shall pass. You all have never treated me that way. You have never treated me that way. You have always treated me with great respect and always treated me like we're a member of a team together. And I thank you for that. So that motto, that is BS. And I can say it now because I don't work for the state. <laughs> it really was bullshit. <laughs> you guys are amazing. You guys are absolutely amazing. Just remember that the work that you do every day touches people's lives. And I know that you believe that from the bottom of your heart. So with that, I'll just leave you with the Irish blessing. I know there's a lot of different versions for it, but this is my favorite. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. 
Get the sunshine warm upon your face. The rain fall upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. I love you all. Thank you.